Hey everybody, I want to welcome you back to the channel State of Charge where we talk about solar power, web technology, and life stories. If this is something that might interest you, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I promise we're going to give you the best content that we know how to give to you. I'm really, really excited about today's video because I did a video about two or three months ago on how to use your iPhone as a webcam. And I'll put a description to that video down in the link so you can take a look at that. Well, I just bought a GoPro Hero 8. And just two days ago, they came out with the ability for you to use your GoPro as a webcam. And I've got to tell you, I am super, super impressed and I'm super excited. And it's so much easier to use your GoPro as a webcam than it is using your iPhone, which don't ask me why Apple doesn't make that just something that's built into the iOS and to the Mac OS, but it doesn't. But anyways, so this is version one, the first version. They had a beta launch about two weeks ago on this, but it is now publicly available. It is out of beta. And so you're gonna wanna stick around to the end of this video so you can see how this looks not only in Zoom, but in Hangouts and just what you can do with your GoPro as a webcam. And so we're gonna go ahead and dive in. We're gonna install the software. I'm gonna hook the GoPro into the laptop and uh, we are gonna go ahead and show you how to do this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. One of the reasons why I decided to buy the GoPro is just, I want to start getting a little bit more creative with my videos and adding some B-roll and some you know, other shots and some angles. And so it's a great camera for that. Uh, here are some things that uh, I, I did with the GoPro here while I was just making this. Uh, what is spectacular about this video here is this is actually using their nightscape mode and it is pitch black outside other than the full moon. So that is not the sun shining through the clouds. This is actually the full moon shining through the clouds and outside of that in the sky, it was very, very dark outside. It was probably 11 p.m. Uh, when when I was doing this so that that's really cool uh, on that one And then this other video again a, another nightscape video. That's fun. This is uh, right outside of my house and uh, This is a windmill that my neighbors have and again dark It's 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 dark. We're getting ready to have a thunderstorm here. You'll notice here on the lower left there you can see some lightning behind that tree but again this is at nighttime so their nightscape is actually really really cool and the last one that was really fun is this one is just more of a time lapse and let's go ahead and play this one so this was just on the corner uh down the street uh, from where we are here in in uh, the phoenix queen creek area and this is just a fun time lapse video so one of the things that i just I'm excited about using the GoPro is just to get some really fun B-roll and just to spice up the videos a little bit, give you guys a little bit more to enjoy um, and a little bit more of a professional edge on the video. So you can hold me accountable to those kinds of things. And so let's, let's dive back into uh, the rest of uh, the video here. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you are going to want to go to GoPro.com. Actually, it does a redirect. So let's just do this so you can see this working gopro.com slash webcam and it's going to take you to this screen here where they actually have their own little YouTube video on there you should watch that it's got instructions for the Mac user and instructions for the Windows user for the sake of this video we are going to be doing this on a Mac and so first things first just make sure that your GoPro uh, is running the latest firmware and you can do that right from the GoPro app we're not going to dive into that because that could be a whole other video, but just make sure that your GoPro has been updated to the latest firmware, which is version 2.0 for the Hero 8. So once that's done, it's really, really easy to do it through the GoPro app from your iPhone, and it takes about five to 10 minutes to do that. So I'm assuming that you have the latest and greatest firmware. So once that is done, you connect your GoPro to the uh, computer and you do need to install 
the desktop utility app. And so I'm gonna go ahead and download that now. It looks like that's done. Let's open up that package. And this will guide us through. So we're just gonna go through the steps to install that. Let's go ahead and continue the installation here. All right, so that installation was successful. Okay, it is going to ask you to restart your computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, so I'm gonna pause the video, we'll jump back in here in a moment and we'll get it back up and running. And so let's go ahead and restart that now. Okay, I have finally restarted the laptop here and I have the GoPro plugged in. And other than having to restart the computer, I have to say that's probably the most inconvenient part of this, but it's necessary because the install creates that virtual camera that we've talked about in our other videos. And so that virtual camera needs to get installed into um, the operating system. And so that restart is what is going to trigger that. But once you have that restarted, you'll notice that up here in your menu bar, you have a new icon. Now, right now, I can't do anything with this because I don't have the GoPro plugged in to the computer. So let me go ahead and plug that in. Okay, that is now plugged in and we should begin to see a blue light right here in that uh, icon indicating that the laptop is in fact plugged into the GoPro. Okay, you can see now that that blue light is there in that icon. It looks like a GoPro icon. And you can click on that and you can look at show preview. Now this is going to come up here and you can see that um, you can use your GoPro now as a webcam, which is absolutely fantastic. And so what let's do here is let's go into Hangouts and let's just launch a new video call. Let's start that meeting and we'll just call it test. Hit OK and I can come up here to my settings here. And in my settings, I wanna make sure that for my video, I have the GoPro as the webcam. And so <laughs> look there. So now when I go ahead and I hit join now, this is using my GoPro as my webcam. So very, very simple and easy to do. Much, much easier than doing it through the iPhone uh, with that video that we did before. So the next one I wanna show you here is let's go ahead and get out of the browser and let's go and open Zoom. So let's go ahead and get Zoom up and running and we're gonna create a new meeting. And right there. Ah. So as you can see, it is using the webcam from the GoPro right here in my Zoom meeting. I have my regular you know, microphone and videos that I can turn on and off and chat and everything that I need for my uh, go to meeting or my zoom meeting or my hangouts meeting. And so yeah, really, really excited to show you guys that you can use your GoPro as a webcam. So that is something you are definitely going to want to check out. Now you have to have the hero eight. This does not work on any other version at the moment. And so you would need to get yourself the hero eight. But, uh, you know, for there's deals out there where you can get like a package deal for like two hundred and eighty dollars and you have a super powerful 4K camera that you can use at, on your web calls. And so I'd highly recommend going out and doing this. And so thanks for joining me today as we looked at this and I hope that it was beneficial to you. Uh, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And until next time, take care. And I got one question for you. What? is your state of charge. I hope you're fully charged. Thanks. We'll talk soon.